From hundreds of miles above Earth, it looks like a dark scar cutting through the wilderness, a structure so massive astronauts can spot it from space. But it's not a road, a river, or anything built by humans. It's the world's largest beaver dam. Hidden deep in Canada's boreal forest, this engineering marvel stretches more than twice the length of the Hoover Dam. And it wasn't built in a year or even a decade. Generations of beavers have been adding to it since the 1970s. Today, we're diving into how this natural wonder was discovered, why beavers build such massive structures, and how these so-called ecosystem engineers are quietly helping to fight climate change. The dam story began in 2007, when a researcher scanning satellite images stumbled across it by chance. That lucky find turned into an ongoing search. Today, even NASA looks for beaver dams from space because of the way they transform landscapes. It's remarkable that little rodents with a taste for sticks can rewire entire ecosystems simply by doing what comes naturally. It hasn't always been this way. For centuries, beavers thrived across North America and Europe. An estimated 400 million once lived in North America alone. But hunting for meat, scent glands, and especially fur nearly wiped them out. The Eurasian beaver disappeared from the UK by the 1500s, and North American numbers collapsed during the height of the beaver hat trade. Thanks to conservation laws and reintroduction programs, populations are rebounding. Which brings us to the big question, why do they build dams at all? The answer is survival. Deep water keeps predators like coyotes, wolves, bears, and mountain lions at bay. In water, beavers are agile and fast. On land, they're vulnerable. Instinct drives them to build whenever they hear running water. They target medium-sized streams and use teeth three times stronger than any other mammal their size to fell trees, then weave branches with mud, sticks, and even rock. The dam isn't their home. That's the lodge, usually tucked behind it with underwater entrances to protect their young. Bigger dams mean bigger territories. And while dams don't block water completely, they slow it down, allowing it to spread, soak into the soil, and create lush, life-rich wetlands. Those wetlands provide five key climate benefits one of them being water management and drought resilience. Dams spread and store water, creating wetlands that recharge groundwater. Ponds stay full through multi-year droughts, keeping vegetation green. The water runs cooler, up to four degrees Fahrenheit lower, offering refuge for fish during heat waves. One California beaver complex cooled surrounding air by 15 degrees Fahrenheit from 107 degrees to 91 degrees, purely through evaporation. Another benefit is flood control. By regulating water flow, beaver dams reduce flood risk. In Scotland, one farmer's stream stopped flooding entirely after beavers moved in. Next is wildfire protection. Beaver wetlands act as fire breaks. In Idaho's 2018 wildfires, which scorched 65,000 acres, areas with beavers stayed green. Streams without them burned three times more intensely. Beavers also boost biodiversity. Beaver-created wetlands increase plant diversity by one-third and provide habitat for 80% of local wildlife species. Their lodges often become bird nesting sites, and their messy ecosystems are resilient to heat, drought, and floods. Finally, another benefit is cost-effective restoration. Beavers work year-round for free. A Boston University expert calls them one of the most cost-effective wetland restoration tools we have, doing work that would cost humans millions to replicate. In degraded areas, beavers sometimes need help. Conservationists now build beaver dam analogs, simple wooden structures and streams, to kickstart the process. Sometimes, real beavers move in and finish the job. We've learned from our mistakes. In the 1940s, Idaho wildlife officials relocated 76 beavers by dropping them out of airplanes. Most survived, but today, relocation is humane. In California, it's even regulated by law. Beavers can cause conflicts, flooding fields or roads. Farmers like Tom in Scotland point out the lack of compensation for damage, calling it local pain for national gain. But the bigger picture is clear. We've altered ecosystems so much that in many places, beavers can't recover alone. When we give them space and let go of a little control, we get flood protection, drought resilience, wildfire breaks, and thriving biodiversity, all at no cost. And there's a lesson learned here beyond beavers. Climate change is a natural problem we've made worse. Nature has been solving natural problems for millions of years. Learning from species like the beaver, restoring and amplifying their processes instead of fighting them, might be one of our smartest strategies. If you want to keep exploring stories like this, subscribe to Forevergreen, join our community, and drop a comment with what you'd like us to cover next.